The hatch command is quite well known in different fields of design professionals, so let's study about how it works and enlarge our knowledge on this subject. Click Hatch on the draw panel. Open the Hatch dialog box and click the swatch option and select the desired hatch texture to stimulate the flooring in this example and select an appropriate scale based on the model size. Leave the Create Separate Hatches option enabled. This option was added to the 2008 version of the program to create separate hatches even when inserted at the same time. This way, you can edit a hatch texture individually and then save time when you wish to apply it. See how when you click on a specific area, just the hatch from that selected region is enabled for editing. You can see other options are available in options, such as Annotative, which lets you automate the data scaling process so the annotation display size adjusts correctly to the page size. Instead of creating several hatches in different sizes and on separate layers, you can connect annotations and define an annotation scale for the entire layer or viewports. You can define scales on the Properties palette. Another interesting option is Gap Tolerance, so you can specify the tolerance value for possible gaps in an object. Many times you see geometry sketched incorrectly or with mistakes, and so the tolerance value helps apply a hatch correctly to this type of object. After inserting a hatch, you can see the corresponding hatched area on the Properties panel. You can see the properties of the selected hatch and see the calculated hatch area. So for this reason, we recommend creating separate hatches and view these hatch area values separately. This is another interesting option available in this new program version. It's possible to create a hatch library to standardize some frequently used hatch textures. Let's open the tool palette on the view tab. Right-click it and create a new tab named Hatches. Click on a created hatch and drag it into this tab. See how now you can rename it and view the saved properties. Let's delete all the hatches in this drawing and demonstrate how easy it is to reinsert them. It makes it so much easier to insert hatches and then it's not necessary to reconfigure them. This refers to the scale factor, hatch textures and other properties as well. On the floor palette, let's create some hatch textures and different scales. Apply them to the layout and see how the texture adjusts to the drawing scale. This makes the measurement unit data extremely important when inputting the variable units factor when first beginning your drawing. Show the floor palette in the video and inserting the created hatch textures. So you have studied some interesting advanced options when using the hatch command. We have introduced you to some new features and so AutoCAD is continually innovating and providing new options to facilitate your AutoCAD design work.